Hello guys and gals, and in this quick motion tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this cool ice text. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and say new. And we're going to get a new project here. And I'm just going to make it, I don't know, presentation large. Okay, let me open up my project now. We have our base group in there and nothing else. Okay, we always begin a new project with a blank base group. So, uh, we're going to name this group, like I said, base. So, let's just take our group and call it B-A-S-E. There's our base group, okay? Now, we're going to go over to our library tab, and we're going to go down to generators. Okay, we're going to say, we're going to click all generators. You can see there's 25 of them and we're looking for the clouds generator and we're going to take the clouds generator which is right here and we're going to apply it to this base layer so we hit apply and boom it throws the cloud layer right inside of our first base layer there now we're going to do some adjustments here so we're going to set our vertical and horizontal scales okay so if we go to our inspector you'll see here we have our generator we have the same controls here in our hub as we do over here okay so let's go ahead and set some of these let's set our horizontal and vertical scales to 20 so you can see we got horizontal we're gonna set it to 20 vertical we'll set it to 20 and when I do that you'll notice the cloud pattern over here changes a little bit that's what's adjusting this this these controls adjust all these little patterns in here you can see when I adjust it does that so you can you can really go through the look you want there's no magic number here you know you, you, you can kinda play with animating it later now let's go ahead and set our speed to zero okay because we don't want it moving or anything we want this kind of to be a a still shot okay now let's go on down you can see we have a first layer strength second layer strength third and fourth okay let's go ahead and pick our second layer and set it to point thirty four so we'll take second layer strength point three four now we're gonna select our fourth layer and make it point five okay now we have our base cloud layer set up and ready to go ready, ready to go okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the T key and when I hit the T key it's gonna bring up my text tool okay and I'm gonna click in my canvas and just type ICE ice I'm gonna have my um, text be Arial black or, or, or something like that let's make sure our alignment is set to center okay now let's set the size to be real large on the screen. We'll set it all the way up to as high as it'll go. And let's position it here. That's looking okay right there in the middle like that. So are you guys with me so far? So far it's not been too bad. Okay. Now what we need to do is add a filter to this thing. And we're going to add a distortion bump map. So we'll go up to add filter. Okay. Go to distortion. And say bump map. Now this will throw a bump map onto our text, okay? Now we're going to set the direction to minus 30. So let's we'll select our direction, minus 30, okay? And we're going to set the amount to 0.21. Hit enter, okay? So now we have our amount to 0.21, our direction to minus 30. So now let's drag the clouds generator into the image well that we have from our bump map. So we'll take our clouds, drag it right in there and boom now you see we're getting this little effect our clouds are affecting our text pretty cool huh so now let's go back to the library and we're gonna grab a gradient generator so we'll go back to our library in our generators we'll see we have a let's find it here gradient right there we go there's our gradient generator okay now what we're gonna do with this gradient generator is we're gonna slap it in the base group over top of the ice text okay so I'm gonna take this gradient and just throw it right in this base group right over top of the ice text like that right there now we're gonna set the c color up to this custom gradient so let's go to our inspector and turn down our gradient tab now we'll see we have our little swatches here let's click our first color swatch and it'll pull up our green red green and blue parameters okay we're gonna set these to be a specific number again there's no magic number but I'm gonna pick the left tag here I'm gonna make red .05 I'm going to make green 0.15, okay? And I'm going to make blue 0.35.
Okay? 5, 15, 35. So now let's select this tag on the far right and set the same numbers. 0 0.5, 0 0.15, 0.35. And as you can see here, we don't quite have the same settings, and that is because I put 0.50. It needs to be 0 0.05. So now you can see we have the both the same color in both tags. Now about 70% of the way up, I'm going to click. Bam, and that's going to insert another tag, okay? Now this tag we're going to set to 10, 31, and 53. So let's say 0 0.10, okay, 0 0.31, and 0 0.53. Now this kind of gives us kind of an icy gradient. And of course you can save this gradient if you want. I click on this and say save gradient. We can say I see and say save. Now we have that gradient to use whenever we, we feel like it, okay? Because it's right here. I see. Okay, so now we've got our little gradient set up. Let's go on to our next step. So what we're going to do is deselect everything and hit this little plus key. And this is going to add a new group at the very top level. Let's rename it. Okay, we're going to rename this to ice black. So now we've got a group, an empty group up top called ice black. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the clouds layer. So we're going to come all the way down here and we're going to click on our clouds layer. Now let's press the K key. And when we hit the K key, boom, it's going to clone that cloud layer. Okay? Let's drag it into our new group we just created. So drag the clone layer into the ice black. And boom, that sets it right up top there. And now we're seeing our cloud clone, so to speak, laying over top of everything. And you can see, because this is off just a little bit, you can see that we're not, you can see that the uh, gradient that we have is just underneath there. So you can even that up if you want. It's not really a big deal. So now that we've drug our cloned cloud layer into our ice black layer, Let's go ahead and select the clone layer, okay? Let's select our clone layer, type Command-Shift-M. And what this will do is this will throw an image mask onto our cloned cl cloud layer. Now we're going to drag the ice text into the mask source well. So let's grab our ice text and drop it into that image mask source well. And now you can see what we got going on here. Our cloud gradient is masked to our text. So let's select our ice black group, okay? And let's set the blend mode to hard light. So go to properties, blend mode, hard light. Okay, now we're starting to get some things to come around here. Let's set the opacity to 50%. Okay? Now we're going to add a filter. So let's go to add filter, go down to stylize, and add extrude. Okay? Now we're going to set the angle to 265, so let's set the angle to 265. Let's set the distance to 11. Let's set the back size to 0.97, like that. And let's set the extrude style to gradient. So let's come down here, you can see under our hub, extrude style, gradient. Okay? So far, so good. Now we need to add another filter. So let's go up to Stylize, Add Filter, Stylize, and we're going to add an indent filter, okay? Now, we're going to come over here to our indent settings, and we're going to set our softness, um, I want to say to about 0.43, okay? Let's set our brightness to 0.85. Let's set our ambient to 0.25, our highlight brightness to 29, okay, and our light rotation to 61, and our depth to 20. Okay, you with me so far? A lot of numbers going on there, but I, but I don't think you're all going to have too much of a problem following along. Now let's go back and select our ice back layer. Okay. So now that we have our 
ice back layer. It should be back. I wrote, I typed black. So it's ice back. Which it don't really matter. You can call the group anything you want. It's not going to affect your project one way or the other. So now we have our ice back layer selected after we went through all that indent settings there. Let's go ahead and select our ice back fill, uh, group again. Now once more we're going to hit the K key. And what does that do, do kids? It clones whatever you have selected. That's right. So hit the K key. And now you can see we have a clone layer one inside of a new group. Okay. Let's, let's name this new group ice front. Makes sense, right? Since our last one was ice back. This one will be ice front. Now we have an ice front group with a clone layer in it. Okay. Now let's set the blend mode to this to overlay. So under properties, we'll say overlay. We'll set the opacity to 40%. Now we're going to add a filter. So let's go over to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Now we're going to add another filter. And it's going to be a color correction this time. And we're going to make it gradient colorize. We come down here to gradient colorize. Now uh, we we'll, won't do anything except the re set the repeats to nine. Okay, like that. So now let me go in here and adjust this to make to even this up. Real well, like that. It's looking pretty good there. Okay, so I guess we can move on. So now we need to work on our reflection. So let's we're gonna have to command select the ice front and the ice back okay so let's close everything up so we won't be so confused here and we're going to select ice front and command select ice back now we're going to hit the keys command shift G and what this will do is this will throw into a group everything that we had selected okay let's name our new group ice main Our ice main group will hold our ice front and ice back. Okay. Now, now that we have our ice main group selected, let's hit the K key one more time, and we're going to clone that layer. Okay. Now we're going to name the new group reflection. Makes sense, right? Now we're going to set the blend mode to overlay, and we're going to drag it below. So we'll set our blend mode to overlay and let's make sure we drag it below the ice main. We don't want to put it into the group of the ice main, you just want it below. Okay, so now we have our ice main on top and our reflection on the bottom, okay? So now let's go on to one of our last steps. So let's select clone layer 2. So let's open it up and select clone layer 2 which is in the reflection and in the properties pane, we're going to set the Y and Z rotations to 180. So let's go ahead and turn down rotation. Y is going to be 180. And Z is going to be 180. And that will match everything up completely. And then we're going to need to position it below the uh, main image on screen. Okay, so let's grab it. And let's bring it down here. Let's try to match this up like so okay so maybe we can do one more thing let's select the reflection group okay and we're gonna add one last filter so let's go to add filter with your reflection group selected that's our first project let's go to the one we was working on now we have our reflection group selected. Let's go up to add filter, blur, gradient blur. And that's going to throw a gradient blur onto our reflection. And we're going to make sure we set point 0.1 just at the top and point 0.2 just at the bottom. So I'm going to come over here to point 0.1. And as you can see, there's this little star here. I can drag it. I'm going to put it right at the top. And I'm going to put point 0.2 right at the bottom. And we'll take point one down here a little bit. So it'll be blurry at the bottom of the reflection and kind of 
not blurry at the top. Now what we can do is we can open up our ice images here. We can find our cloud like this and we can adjust our height and width and that's going to kind of maybe straighten out the bottom of our text just a little bit as you can see there that's kind of flattening out just a little bit helps helps a whole lot of course you know you can set it to taste let's grab our reflection okay let's close all of our groups up let's move it to the center here like this and there we go now we have our cool ice text I hope you all have been able to follow along with this and got you some cool little pointers from this and uh, once you get this set up you can pretty much save it almost as a preset and just change your text or there might be one special project that comes up down the line that you may need icy text the client might say I need this text written in ice you know and you'll have it might not happen often but when it does happen you'll have it so this may help get you a little bit more familiar with layering text and getting it to do what you want to do and if not heck maybe it was just fun following along okay so I thank you guys for watching Again, I thank Patrick Sheffield for all of his wonderful knowledge that he's taught me on motion, you know, with his books and stuff. They're wonderful. And um, I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.